Oh, the ring compound. <laughs> this is like your prized possession right here. that tracker life huh what do you use this for parking lots man <laughs> well, this thing has been a lifesaver at our properties it's been unbelievable this thing looks like a beast it is so wh when did you get this tractor uh, a couple years ago oh, okay so you had it for a couple years now, what did you have before this like did you have the same properties that you know did you have the same properties but you had different equipment you're like i need to upgrade to this or did you upgrade to this at the same time as so you could take on bigger properties you know what i'm saying yep no we ended up getting a bigger property um after actually i bought this and normally the rule is right <laughs> right i don't know yeah for me i've always been kind of like try to have a backup Pro for proactive. a backup yeah yep and be proactive um and it just so happened this property just fell into our lap. We've had it for the past couple years. The contract comes up this year, so hopefully they'll keep us on. Uh, if not, we have picked up a couple other properties that this would be ideal for also, and it, ha it does go on these other properties mm -hmm. um, already. But, I mean, having a backup truck, having a backup Bobcat, I mean, you know, makes all the difference in the world if something like this does break down, yeah. you know, or Which whatever. Which is that, is that what you were using before this? Was a bunch of Bobcat skid, like skid loaders yep. and, and your plow trucks? Yep, yep. And you all no. kind of diverge on a big property together for that? Yep. Now this thing could just knock it out all by itself, right? This one, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a 10 foot plow. I mean, it could take a 12 foot plow because mm -hmm. it's got so much power. Um, we've just been hanging with this plow here, which of course you know I love Cage. Um, although, we did get a snow wolf this year. Um, you haven't seen it yet, we no. will see it when we get there. <laughs> but uh, that that's a pretty killer plow. I think Chant was the one that uh, put me up to that. Like, yeah, you know, I've seen one. he got one, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. Uh, my guy loves it that runs the Bobcat with the yeah. plow. Yeah, so. sweet. Uh, just one of our bobcats covered up in a tent. Uh, we got our shipping container of salt. I uh, got the bucket ready. This is a property we do the salting and the snow plowing. So you keep all of this here conveniently because you're like route density. You have all of these parking lots that you gotta take care of so the guys can just come over here and reload if they need to, yep. right? We're just having it at your house, which is probably like what twenty minutes away from here or something. Uh, it's not far. It just this is just way more, more convenient. convenient. Yeah. Um, so we give them a deal, we actually plow the parking lot for free. I mean we can charge them for salting, you know, the sidewalk and the parking lot. Yeah. But that was the deal we made and I think it's worth it just because we're able to keep a skid here and the salt. It's yeah. a pretty priceless uh, deal. Nice. So the house that we were at before, that was your original house, yep. and you used to keep your bobcat and stuff all in there. And then I remember you would drive that down to like where we are now because yep. you had all these properties. Yep. So it was super convenient, right? Not yep. only did you have a dense route here, but you also just drove down here. Yep. But then when you moved out of there, like what was the evolution? You moved out of there, your parents are in there now, and you have a different house further away, so now it's more convenient to keep your stuff here. Yep. Where yep. like on location, I guess, basically, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, I got one other bobcat there that rolls around town also because you know, there's a job close by and then from there just job after job you know where everything's dense yeah um, so yeah like this here i mean this is great because it's right in the heart of our road you know, right. could literally start this property right here if you have a snow event or yeah, something yeah yeah and just work your way out right? yep yeah, yeah.
Got all them Toro attachments and, and you know, snow oh, here's one you don't know. You haven't seen, have you? That's the, I mean, I saw it on uh, Paul's video when you guys went to, um, when you went to Toro's oh, uh, yeah. head okay. headquarters. You guys were playing around with this though, right? But Yeah, we haven't even had the opportunity to hook it up. This is for some serious snow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so basically when there's too much snow for that, to for the, the plows to push, Yep. That's what the snow blowers for, right? I mean, I'd like to say yes, yeah. but we haven't used it. <laughs> yeah, you haven't used yeah. it, but that, yeah. that's the theory, right? Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, theory. yeah. No, so. I mean, when I use that Toro, I mean, that thing, I mean, I made a snowstorm. You know, I yeah. mean, that thing just shot the snow so far, yeah. I can't even hardly believe it. Yeah. So, yeah, that thing looks like a, it looks like a beast for sure. It, it, I know it is. It, man, I can't wait to get it on and show my guys. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All these, all these uh, snow blowers here are these yeah. for residential, or are they for like sidewalks on your commercial properties? Both. Okay. Both. So you have commercial and residential. Yeah, we don't have a whole ton of residential, but I mean, there's certain jobs where like trucks just don't fit. I mean, we'll have bobcats doing some of those, mm -hmm. but where the bobcat, it's too far for you know that to drive. We'll mm -hmm. have the shovel crew take the snow blowers and in use the back them there. of the truck yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But I like these newer ones that they got out. They look kind of weird, but I mean, they do they the really, job. They do it. <laughs> they get they it do. done. That's all that matters. Yep. And you got the snow wolf over here. Got the snow wolf. Yep. My guy loves that. So what? What's really the main differences between like like what 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 is snow wolf's thing, and why did you get it? I guess probably the same question. Um, I don't know. I mean, years ago at the GIE, I think my first GIE, mm -hmm. I noticed it. I think my biggest hang up was just the cylinders on the wing, right? Like, you know, how much could pressure could they sustain, you know? Yeah. Um, and I feel like, what, what's it been, three, four years later now? Yeah. Since my first one? Still doing good. You know? Well, no, I just got that oh, this year. Oh. I'm just saying, like, they probably, and they clearly I have improved they, they it. They have, yeah. They've yep. been doing it for three or four years, so. Yep. Gotcha. Like, I mean, I'm sure every company that has any type of equipment like this is always doing some sort of engineering, like right. Toro. You right. know, like Keep updating. Yeah. yeah. Second gen, third gen, fourth gen. Yeah. Yep. So what? What? So what place does this have, and what place does the the cage have? Like, what do you use both for? Ah, uh, same thing. Same thing. Same really. Thing. Just more of a personal preference. Yep. My guy who uses it loves it. I mean, I love cage. Obviously, I, you know, I haven't personally used this yet, but I mean, if he loves it. That's all that matters yeah. to me, you know. Just because I mean the plow angles, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, you can get into tighter spots because you can move the wings back. Yeah. Um, just a little more versatile, it seems. A <clears> little like. versatile. When you're just getting big, wide open parking lots, the cage box, that's fine. You just go push a yeah. ton of snow, and it's fine yep. too. So. I mean, the, I think they're both comparable. I think you know they both have a place. And yeah. it's almost the exact same. It's just obviously you got to take the box off the cage. But. Right. A little personal, more personal preference probably. Too. Yep. But all your mowers and stuff will be in here too, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, I mean, obviously you have your, the multi forces do double duty. So those are part of, those are some of your mowers to begin with. Yep. But then you also have zero turns, right? Like sit downs. Yep. I mean, all the trailers we have outside, uh, they're all enclosed trailers that we can, you know, keep house everything them, in, you yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, so, so we don't need more. the space like everybody, you know, they'll tell you, um, you know, you're going to want bigger. Yeah. It's like, we don't need bigger because, I mean, I got enough land where I can appropriately put like round top tents to even store. Yeah. Like stuff that won't get damaged. Right. Or make so a difference. So this is more of like a working space. Then, working right? space. Yeah. I mean, there already, I think even before like the walls were up. Mm -hmm. And like we just had the shelter. Yeah. We repaired like this white trailer out here of mm -hmm. like a spring. Okay. <laughs> so I mean we were like, oh thank God we yeah. got a place, you know. Yeah, for sure. So now we got one with heat. I mean, I've been out here before in negative twenty degree weather working on my bobcat. Nice. You know, where normally you'd be freezing to death outside trying to find it or on underneath something, but with no walls or heat or something. Right. right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, Yikes. It's a godsend. Yeah, for it's a sure. Blessing, you know? For sure. How long were you in business? before you got this whole setup, before you moved here and 
because I'm sure that was a financial thing too. It wasn't just like, oh, you know, we could have done this five years ago or, or 10 years ago. It was more of like an evolution process, yep. right? Yeah. I mean, was it 14th season? Maybe? 14th season. Wow. Yeah, so total so you've been in here. 2016, you moved here yep. and you've been in business since 2002. 2002 and it's 2021. So yep. nice. You are a seasoned 19. vet. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, what I know now is, I mean, we could have probably done this years ago the way we actually were able to keep my other house, which I moved my parents from Minneapolis there. Right. And this house. I mean, the deal was that the broker said, if we can, you know, have somebody rent that other house for one year on an actual lease. Right. You can keep that house. Okay. I said, what? Yeah. And then they also said, you can buy your next house as a first time home buyer down payment i'm like that's a no-brainer yeah so i mean we lucked out we've always looked for land you know to operate the business from you yeah. know um just lucked out i mean blessed yeah <laughs> and then and then you and then you built this pole barn just yeah. recently right yep that beats uh working out of your garage now right your, your home garage now you've got this <laughs> pole barn so yep. with heat yeah congrats with on heat. that man yeah Moving on up. Yep. <laughs> and um, how about like how many how many crews do you have for snow? Like, I mean, I know you have a couple crews for lawn and and then, but how you usually shifts right for people with snow versus lawns? Sometimes they ramp up, sometimes they ramp down. Yeah, a lot of it's singular, um, except like our walk crew. Um, I ideally would like two walk crews of two people. Mm -hmm. um, right now we're doing one of four. Um, other than that, we have what one, two, three. Um, three trucks where we run those normally. We'll have one backup truck maybe just waiting just in case something breaks down. Um, two bobcats and the tractor. So that's what we normally run on an event. Awesome. And you have, like you said, a combination of commercial and residential? Yeah, mostly, mostly commercial. commercial. Um, the residential, you know, all the clients know that they're not going to be first. Um, and they're good with that. I mean, if there are some that, you know, we you know our potential customers and they don't want that type of service they want it right away we'll definitely get names for them you know to uh connect with that can actually you know appease that yeah so well awesome man thanks for uh letting me come out here again and, and focus on your snow setup because i know that's that's a huge part of your business probably anyone's business if they're smart yep. in, in minnesota in right minnesota. so yep, even though yep, we yep. haven't had a whole ton of snow countrywide it's been kind of low but i mean you know you see these still got plenty of snow banks here <laughs> but not, not as much as probably normal right it's been a little no, it, yeah i mean this has been one of the strangest snows i've seen but thanks for everything that you do uh for the community industry and thanks for letting me come out here and and, and take a peek into your life onto the uh, ring compounds <laughs> yeah, definitely a snow pro for sure so thanks yep yep glad to have you